Welcome back to Stock Maven, where we give you the latest news and updates on cryptocurrency and blockchain technology. Today, we have some exciting news from the Pacific Island nation of Fiji, where a new pro Bitcoin Prime Minister has been elected. But before we dive into that story, let's first give you a quick background on Fiji and its economy. Fiji is a small island nation in the South Pacific Ocean, known for its beautiful beaches, crystal clear waters, and vibrant coral reefs. It has a population of around 900,000 people, and its economy is heavily dependent on tourism, agriculture, and remittances from Fijians living overseas. Now, let's talk about the big news coming out of Fiji. Last month, the country held a general election, which saw the opposition party led by Sitavini Rabuka win a majority of seats in parliament. And just a few days ago, Rabuka announced that he has selected a new prime minister for Fiji, Frank Benimarama. So, who is Frank Benimarama, and why is his appointment as prime minister significant? For the cryptocurrency industry? Well, for starters, Benimarama is not new to politics. He has been the Prime Minister of Fiji since 2007, and has led the country through a period of political stability and economic growth. But what's really interesting about Benimarama is his stance on Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. In an interview last year, he expressed his support for cryptocurrencies, calling them the future of money. He also spoke about the potential of blockchain technology to transform the way we do business and interact with each other. It's worth noting that Benimarama's pro-crypto stance is not shared by all Fijian politicians. In fact, some members of parliament have expressed concerns about the risks associated with cryptocurrencies, such as their potential use for money laundering and terrorist financing. However, Baini Marama has made it clear that he sees the benefits of cryptocurrencies outweighing the risks. So, what does this mean for the future of cryptocurrencies in Fiji? Well, it's still early days, and we don't know yet what specific policies Baini Marama's government will implement with regards to cryptocurrencies. After his election, Prime Minister Baini Marama issued a statement saying that he was committed to modernizing Fiji's economy, including through the use of digital technology. This commitment extends to cryptocurrency, which he sees as a way to attract investment and improve financial inclusion. Fiji has a small but growing cryptocurrency community, with several local businesses accepting Bitcoin as payment. The country's central bank has also been exploring the use of digital currencies. With a study on the potential benefits and risks of a central bank digital currency, CBDC, currently underway. With the election of a pro-Bitcoin prime minister, there is hope that Fiji will continue to be a friendly environment for cryptocurrency businesses and investors. The new government's commitment to modernizing the economy and improving financial inclusion could create new opportunities for those involved in the crypto industry. However, there are still challenges to overcome. Fiji's small size and limited infrastructure present logistical hurdles for cryptocurrency adoption, and there are concerns about the potential for fraud and money laundering in an unregulated market. Despite these challenges, the election of a pro-Bitcoin Prime Minister is a positive development for the crypto industry in Fiji. It is a sign that the country is open to innovation and willing to explore new ways to improve the economy and increase financial inclusion. The government's commitment to modernizing the economy and improving financial inclusion is likely to create new opportunities for cryptocurrency businesses and investors. 
while there are still challenges to overcome, such as logistical hurdles and concerns about fraud and money laundering, the future looks bright for crypto in Fiji. The Prime Minister sees digital assets as a means to drive economic growth in Fiji and provide new opportunities for the country's youth. He believes that the adoption of crypto and blockchain technology will open up new markets and create new jobs in Fiji. As the world continues to embrace digital currencies and blockchain technology, Fiji's pro-crypto stance is a clear signal that the crypto revolution is here to stay. With its favorable regulatory environment and supportive government, Fiji could soon become a leading destination for businesses and investors seeking to enter the crypto space. Overall, Fiji's election of a pro-crypto prime minister is a significant development that could have far-reaching implications for the global crypto industry. With its strategic location, favorable regulatory environment, and supportive government, Fiji has the potential to become a major player in the crypto world. In an interview with Forbes, the new prime minister stated that Fiji's government should explore blockchain technology and cryptocurrency as a way to modernize the country's economy. He said, we have to use technology, and one of the technologies is blockchain technology. We have to engage in modern technology, and we need to make sure that we are part of this revolution that is happening all around the world. In 2018, he helped establish the Fiji Financial Intelligence Unit's regulatory framework for digital currencies. The framework was designed to prevent money laundering and terrorist financing in the country's cryptocurrency sector. With the new Prime Minister in office, it remains to be seen how Fiji's relationship with cryptocurrency and blockchain technology will evolve. But for now, the country's pro-crypto stance is a positive development for the industry. It shows that even small nations are recognizing the benefits of blockchain technology and cryptocurrency, and that they are willing to take steps to embrace it. Fiji is not the only country to express interest in blockchain technology and cryptocurrency. With the government's support, the industry could see new developments and advancements in the years to come. The new Prime Minister, Frank Bainimarama, was appointed in November 2018, and he has wasted no time in showing his support for cryptocurrency and blockchain technology. In December 2018, he tweeted that the government was working on creating a legal framework for cryptocurrency in Fiji. One of the benefits of blockchain technology is that it can provide a secure and transparent way of conducting transactions. This is particularly important in countries like Fiji, which has a large population of unbanked people. With blockchain technology, people can make transactions without the need for a traditional bank account, which can help to promote financial inclusion and boost the local economy. Another benefit of blockchain technology is that it can help to reduce fraud and corruption. By using a decentralized system that is transparent and tamper-proof, it is much more difficult for individuals to manipulate the system for personal gain. This can help to promote a more honest and fair society. The use of blockchain technology can also bring benefits to industries beyond finance. Fiji's new pro-Bitcoin Prime Minister is not alone in his support for blockchain technology. Many other governments around the world are also exploring the potential benefits of this technology and are working to create a legal framework for its use. In conclusion, Fiji's new pro-Bitcoin Prime Minister is an encouraging sign for the cryptocurrency industry. With his support for blockchain technology and his efforts to promote the legal framework for cryptocurrency in Fiji, we can expect to see increased adoption of blockchain technology in the country. As always, we'll keep you updated on the latest developments in the world of cryptocurrency and blockchain technology. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell.